So where do multiplication and division fit in the order of operations? So again, the general rule for the order of operations is we perform all operations from left to right unless, and our first unless is that an expression is in a grouping symbol, in which case it must be evaluated first. The second unless is an expression is a product or quotient, in which case it must be evaluated next. For example, 24 minus 6 divided by 2 times 3. And so the thing to remember is that parentheses are free. Use them to bag up your purchases. Well, OK, now many places do charge you for those plastic bags, but the idea is that in math, at least, parentheses are still free. So the basic rule for order of operations, we should go left to right unless we see parentheses, well, we don't yet, or we see multiplication and division. So if we go left to right, we do see this 6 divided by 2. So let's bag that up by throwing it inside a set of parentheses, which is a reminder that we have to do this first. So we find 6 divided by 2 is 3. E equals means replaceable. So instead of writing 6 divided by 2, we'll write 3. And everything else stays the same. Remember, paper is cheap. Write stuff down. And now we have this expression. Again, we want to go left to right. We have a minus. We have a times. The unless we have a times, the multiplication should go first. So let's bag up that multiplication. Parentheses say do stuff inside first. So we'll multiply 3 by 3. E equals means replaceable, so instead of writing 3 times 3, we'll write 9, and everything else stays the same. And again, we'll go left to right, and here we only have the operation subtract, so we'll do that subtraction, and get our final answer. How about a more complicated expression? So here it's useful to remember that the fraction a over b is equivalent to a divided by b. It's also useful to keep in mind that the numerator and denominator of a fraction should always be enclosed in parentheses. So we'll bag up the numerator and the denominator. Order of operation says we should go left to right unless, and here the unless is we have things in parentheses we have to take care of first. 6 plus 5 and 2 minus 1. So e equals means replaceable, so replacing them we get the fraction 11 over 1. And again, remember that a over b is the same as a divided by b, so we can replace 11 over 1 with 11 divided by 1. And we go left to right, which means that we should do this 4 times 11 first. So let's throw that inside a set of parentheses to remind us. Taking care of the stuff inside the parentheses. equals means replaceable, so we'll replace 4 times 11 with 44, and we still have the divide by 1, and take care of our last operation.